table. Uh, huge amount of push, works incredibly well. You go for an Umbo Grave into Lethality, you've got a... Jack Spectre and Mercy have to be careful here. Bo with red buff, ready to step forward, full committing now, double flash instantaneously on the bottom side, and that is massive for a lane like this. Yes, man. Back, but on the bottom side of the map, Mercer now been locked up, Neon now stepping forward, big damage coming in onto Mercer, lands the Mystic Shots, lands the auto, there's nothing left of Neon, he's not done, he's stepping forward, continuing to trade autos, Jack Spectra, getting a little thirsty here, one or two more autos, that's all it's gonna take, no flash available, the Q through the flash, out to safety, he's gotten another flash, he's gotten sums, he's gotten damage down, and now his bot lane, or Bo's bot lane, is so far ahead that it feels just unplayable for Heretics. Yeah, and it feels a lot of the times like Bo is the grab plates. Uh, now we're fighting for jungle camps, but Perk's gonna get an excellent disengage. They're now fully gonna commit. Yanko's flashing in, wanting to finish the job. He's feeling a little bit personal, but he's already taken out the blue clock. Perk's now starting to walk away. Healing coming in. Lamps for a spike. Perk's trying to take a breather. Flashback in from Bo. Bo trying to make it look clean. Mercer manages to grab one. Ruby surely just next on the list. Oh, oh Bo, no. he's gearing up. You give him one, you give him two. He's looking for three. That's gonna do it in the end. Power shots for funsies just to poke the Caitlyn out of the lane. A thousand gold. Individually, a thousand gold. He's a third of Vitality's overall gold lead by himself. They cancel the E! Ooh. Ticking. Burning Leandries will not finish the job. Jack Spectre just barely able to walk away with his life. In the meantime, Ocean Drake is going down. Vitality are... Bo moving down to the bottom side. Kaiser fearlessly stepping forward. Mercer is so squishy. Goodbye to the bar. And Diego's now managing to knock up one. Bo flashing back up to safety. Healing up just in time. Evie desperately trying to finish the job. You're trying to lock up Bo. Does he have ulti available? Doesn't look like he can take him out of this one. Evie running away here is all of Vitality are descending upon the Cassante. Slowly but surely they look to break him down. Scion unstoppable means it's just a free port for Evie. That was clever. It looked really pretty, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Evie now trying to finish the job. The knockup now coming in. Evie trying to make a heroic effort on the bottom side, but he's eventually brought low. Jack Spectre now knocked up again. The Gale Force he hit like a truck. The team Heretics just going to have to hide for those towers and farm up. The wall there, definitely a big homie for their side as Mercer once again going to get taken down. Ruby now scooping back to the rest of the team. Yanko's finding the knockups. Ruby getting cut down. They just do not have the damage, but they will finally, finally shut down the Kindred. A perfect split scatter of the week for Perks. Manages to find two. Yanko's now running for the hills. Photon can tank any tower he needs to, but there's no towers left standing for Yanko's. The entire team looks to chase him down. Knock up over the wall. Scatter the week again. Fight after fight after fight, Vitality are slaughtering Team Heretics. I mean, you can see the pings going over towards Baron as well, but I mean, that's Ocean Soul now available in just two seconds, so Vitality just gonna keep this one going. Evie gets on towards Neon. He's going all out, but he's all out of life. As he will get taken down. Yankos has had a particularly bad game with the Wukong, but I think it's just significantly easier for him to play that. Knock up, snare. They're gonna kill him. Yanko's now running for the hills. Second ulti stack, gonna buy a bit more space. Evie on the backside with Ruby. Maybe there's something to be done here. Photon, though, a very beefy front line as Perks just runs in, pushes his R button, and there is no more Jack Spectre left on the rift. Photon flashing in. Unstoppable now coming in for Evie, trying to leap his way out to safety. Does make it out thus far. The Vitality kind of just playing with their food here. Very, very far ahead. Evie gonna step in. Try to get more damage down with the total strike. But honestly, I think the biggest problem for Vitality is just how short range they are. So getting this Baron is going to help out, prevent some of the wave play that Jack Spectre and Mercy and Ruby offers. He said it's not about how we're going to hit the ground running. It's about having to be faster at developing than other people. And they're not getting a lot of time to develop because they're spending a lot of time with a great screen right now because Vitality are relentless. And that's the thing, when you look at this Heretics roster and you look at like a coaching staff with Peter Dunn, it is going to be a case of like a slow burn for Heretics where they do want to try and like build up that roster over time. But Vitality already hit the ground running and they're hitting Heretics pretty hard off of that. Yeah. And now they got to try and hold on no, to their base. They are trying to burn them fast. They are fast burning through Heretics. We are 26 minutes into the game from the level 2 gank from Bo in the bottom side, setting Kaiser and Neon ahead. This has been a one-sided affair. Two kills to 16, Ocean Soul, Vitality, ready to fountain dive before they end this game. Kaiser will get taken down, Marcel finally grabbing something back as massive damage comes in.